Double hard checkpoint. Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. <sighs> Unfortunately, we're back to the walkthrough. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is slow down time and then we're gonna go to the Gerudo Fortress so I can show you just what that mask is like to use. After all, if I don't, I'm gonna completely forget to use this mask, so... Hey, he's just like going in the water and just like, oh, hey, how's it going there, lady? Oh, nope, you don't even notice me whatsoever, do ya? Huh? Huh, look at that! This is amazing! It's just like, oh, I can even swing my sword right through you. It's like, I don't exist at all! <laughs> so, as a result of this, you can now go inside ye old base pretty easily, <laughs> as you can tell. So. As a result of that, too, you can also get that treasure chest that I had great difficulties... Well, I, I only tried it once during this play, but I'd normally have great difficulties getting that chest otherwise. So, yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna kind of flop on inside and go and grab that chest, if you don't mind. I think it was this door over here. Um... No, I don't think it was. No. By the way, since I'm wearing the mask, you don't have to be stealthy or anything like that. I was just kind of trying to get the camera to move around while I was taking a peek see, but yeah, I'm just basically basically running around, oh, hitting my face into things, having a good time, touching the late... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Let's try and see if this is the one. Was this the one? Ah, this was the one. Okay. Hey, girls! You're gonna see your treasure chest open magically all on its own. I get a silver rupee. It's just magical like that. Now just throw me out here really quick. You know, you know if I, you know, if I say if I take take off the mask. Oh man, suddenly I appear. <laughs> so yeah, that's how the mask works. It basically makes you as invisible and well, I, I shouldn't even say invisible. It makes you unnoticeable, like that guy in a, a kind of road. <laughs> Speaking of Akana Road, oh, well, well, I should say the road to Akana, um, there's a little treasure chest that I missed, like, right near the entrance door type giblets to Akana Road. Well, it's not really the door, it's like the transition point. So I gotta kind of go on my way over there to get over there ASAP, and I'll, I'll just cut on ahead if you don't mind. Needless to say, I'm gonna be running through some grass along the way there, too, because, you know, <laughs> you know, it's kind of a kind of a bunch of stuff that, you know, it's kind of nice to have your supplies revamped. Um, uh, I see, the game decided to freeze. Well then, luckily that stone mask thing was completely optional. <laughs> Once again, I did a quick lap around here to resupply on my giblets, just because I got a bunch of rupees and stuff like that, too. Alright, game, you gonna freeze this time? You gonna freeze? No, you're not. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, you see that treasure chest on the map here? I don't know if that's, like, invisible or something like that, but I don't remember that treasure chest offhand. Well, we're gonna see here if I can get a uh, look-see as to what the poop it might be here. See that on the map? Yeah, that's... You may explode if you mind. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Maybe I can destroy this. No, I guess not. Yeah, so what? what is that chest over there? It's like... I, I want to say it's invisible, but it's not really... What is that? Oh, it's up on top of there. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I thought maybe it was like, I don't know, it's something that you gotta explode or destroy that boulder or something like that, but no, I don't remember. I don't remember coming up here before. I just noticed that chests when I was, uh, um, careful, 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 when I was editing the last video, because I seen it on the map and I was like, oh! Oh, that's there! I didn't really notice that. But <laughs> so, okay, I got 54 rupees. And now, let's go and do some of the main questing stuff over at Ye Ol' Ikana Canyon, there we go. <laughs> and of course, I'm going to be buying Tingle's final map, 
because I'm a rupee waster like that, and I feel like I got to 100% it, so I guess technically it's not a waste, but in any case, I've got to get out um, Ocarina for the song that's coming up. I've got to get out this mask, and I guess I'll keep out the lens of truth. So basically, this is, yeah, this is a kind of canyon. It's kind of spooky. We don't have a map, but, uh, did I battle this one here before? I'm not sure if I did, but I would like to get all their dialogue. So I will, uh, click past the copy pasta as quickly as humanly possible. What? I was shielding! <laughs> I swear I was shielding. You see me holding that up. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Every two minutes and every day the girl. Okay, yeah, you've seen this one before. Uh, okay, and then uh, yeah, at least it lets you click through that copy pasta dialogue. And this over here is a place we'll get into a little bit later on. Akana Castle front gate. Use what you will. This sealed gate shall never open. That's why we're gonna use this later. <laughs> There's a little side route here with a sunblock. There's a little switch here that you can use to open up the ceiling lights. See, I see the ceiling light. Yeah, there's no ceiling light. I don't. I'm not sure how that works. Maybe the light actually comes from that switch itself. I don't know, but yes. <laughs> All right, let's move on with the groove on, and there should be another one around. Yep, that's what I thought. I didn't battle you before, though. I only battled the first three around the area, and they are closest to the edge, so all the ones from here on out should be relatively new. Top the hill here in Akana, no human presence is felt except that of the parent, the child, living in the house with the water wheel. Okay, alrighty. They say belief or disbelief rests with you, but it's, they, they, they kind of have the only thing that you have to go by. <laughs> oh man. Uh, and these are Gibdos. They uh, they like to hump you. Yeah, they'll grab onto you and they'll stun. Yeah, they'll stun you and they'll start humping you. Yeah, don't don't let them do that. <laughs> Can I like target them to get up? I can't target them with uh, the power of Tattle, really? It's kind of weird, anyway. They'll just keep kind of circling around there infinitely until we do something else, so we can't really do anything with that right now, but what we can do is get out our bow, because I forgot to get out our bow, and shoot Tingle out of the sky! <laughs> Actually, I almost hit Tingle there. Although that might have just been a benefit to us all. We could have stolen his map without having to pay any rupees whatsoever. <laughs> Alright, Akana map, please, please, yes, yes, um, stone tower map, I should say, it's not, it's not Akana canyon map, it's the stone tower map, yeah. <laughs> Alright, tingle, tingle, kulu, limpa, copyright infringement, <laughs> there we go, now we've got a map of the area, um, I'll just keep this mask on. While I wander about this upper area, I'm just kind of zigzagging up around the perimeter here. Oh no! I did not call you! I just had a hat on and you were just like, man, I am going to take you on! <laughs> I can't help it if you mistook me for your master. Uh, the repeated dialogue, great! So yeah, some of them do have that, so... <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna actually go in here now, and this is Spirit House, we prefer the Wandering Spirits and are awaiting your arrival. I'll take off this mask because it looks ridiculous. <laughs> you see, oh look at that, it's Mysterioso Man! <laughs> the Akana Kingdom was founded on this land, the stain of the history of darkness drenched in blood. Even now it is a place where troubled, regretful spirits gather. If you are seeking the one who is stronger than you are, you may find strength here. From a group of spirits plagued by lingering regrets. If you have faith in your skills and might, then try saving these wandering spirits. <laughs> but the earthly price you must pay is 30 rupees. Oh, come on! <laughs> Everyone wants a fee. All right, I'll do it. I'll get a heart piece out of this if I do it. All right, boy, I'm much very quiet. Defeat the ladies within the time limit, then rest their souls in peace. But if your life energy drops to all three hearts, I will stop the match. Mercy is the least I can offer. Yes, I'm prepared. All right, so I'll get your bow out. That's another thing you need your bow for. Oh, no, it's the bow sister. It's a... Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> 
also, yeah, you just kind of, just kind of, oh, say, just kind of let them do their thing, and when they, yeah, eventually they're going to reappear, and you just kind of reshoot them. You don't want to L-target them, if I recall correctly, because they'll disappear if you do that. Uh, oh. Oh, come on, because you started the spin, you're gonna... Eh. But yeah, basically, I gotta defeat these suckers within a certain amount of time period, and maybe I can do this faster with my sword, actually, because I can do spin attacks probably near them. Yeah, that's probably the better idea, actually. I'm just used to using my bow via the uh, uh, the powers of uh, the Forest Temple in Ocarina of Time. Uh, uh, mm, mm, uh. Yeah, like that. And since I got my super-powered gilded sword, I, I can kind of just kind of, in theory, I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible. That's why I'm taking so many hits. But yeah, <laughs> oh come on, just make yourself vulnerable already. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> come on. Yeah, that's why I remember using the ball on this too. Yeah. Ah, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> There's four of them, by the way, so... Yeah, as long as you have the sword power, you should be able to do it in time, in theory. Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> I'm just trying to get in get in range of them, and... I'm just not really... Yeah, not really getting them in a vulnerable state. Oh, okay. mm. Ah! <laughs> Maybe I should be trying the bowl method. So I'm burning a lot of rupees. <laughs> no, it seems like they, they have their own... Uh, have their own sort of stop and start pattern, yeah. So maybe I am better off just following them around until they s stop moving around. I might actually end up running out of time here, actually, surprisingly. <laughs> I mean, I got a powerful sword, but that's that's not very helpful here, apparently, if they're not going to make themselves vulnerable. Which, you know, you could say that about a lot about a lot of enemies in uh, video games, because they, they're always making themselves vulnerable. Okay, 46 seconds to kill the last one. The last one's, uh, yeah, the one that splits up, and it's the one that you gotta figure out which is the correct one. The one, correct one will spin. Uh, yeah, it's this one here, and... Oh, no, there we go, 31 seconds. Can I pull this off in time? Maybe. I'm not sure, because there's a bit of a spawning time here. I've seen that. I've seen that. You can't, you can't fool me there. And now, uh, come on, come on, come on. No, oh, it was you! It was you! I've seen that! Yes! 13 seconds. Oh, jeez. I don't remember how many hits are left. Hopefully just one. <laughs> the camera really should not be this close to uh, Link here. Yeah! Victory is mine! Clock! Stop! Clock! Stop! <laughs> Seems their souls have been healed. I give to you the earthly possession which the ladies kept. Take it, Link, and we'll get a piece of heart. Heck yeah! Uh-huh, uh-huh. That is your name correct? I can read people's hearts. I also heard it from Tingle. What? Never mind. I knew you would be coming here. <laughs> now my own soul has been healed too. With that, <laughs> and she's gone, or he's gone, or whatever. I'm out of here. We we did that side quest. We did it, and now we can do some more random battles. There we go. <laughs> At least it seems like random battles. It's just, it's just specific spots, really. And you know the dealio with these. Let's see what dialogue I can get out of him. Uh, maybe it'll be the same dialogue, who knows. To revive the dried up river on Akana Hill, you must go to the Springwater Cave, believe for this blah 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 blah. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna take a rollsy polsy up here and uh, this one. Oh, that's the one I already destroyed, okay. Yeah, there's this one over here. This is the Ikana, uh well, it's empty well, they call it, but it's also known as the Ikana well. And entry prohibited due to ghost sightings, so beware, we, we can't get in there anyway right now. You'll, you'll understand why when the time is right. But as long as there's a gossip stone here, we'll talk to that instead. Hey, how's it going? Chop, 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 chop. Pamela, who lives in the music box house, comes up. Oh, come on! You're useless! Okay, maybe you're not that useless. If she hears a bomb explode, that's that's some new information, I suppose. But we still can't get her to come out until we get rid of those Gibdos, by the way. So yeah, I'm gonna put on this mask here for this last one over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm I'm your master, not really. <laughs> ah! Oh, I see. When you're right on top of me, you get past my shield. Ah! 
please let please just let me get away from you a little bit here. There we go. <laughs> I will accept my slight bit of scratch damage. Top the hill in your kind of no human copy pastas, okay. And over here is something else we also can't do at this moment in time. This is the stone tower itself. Please don't freeze during the transition screen. <laughs> Yeah, the stone tower cannot do anything here until we get the right giblets to get up to the top of here. And this thing, oh god, it's it's like Nintendo purposefully made this place just to let you hate playing this game. But we'll get into that as as we get there. <laughs> uh, did I beat this one over at this corner here? I don't think I have. Well, we're gonna see, uh -huh, uh -huh. And the last place that I'm going to is that cave up on top of the hill. That's uh, back. Oh, I just targeted the Gwei, but yes, yes, yes. Uh, I want to try to enter spring weather without knowing a song buried in green that poor visitor shall meet with disaster. Remember we learned the song of storms? That's exactly what we need to make progress. Oh, I'd like that, actually. Rupee, rupee, rupee. Rupee, rupee, yeah. It's five rupees, actually. And then we loop around here, and this is the other side of the uh, music box house. And over here is the fairy fountain, where the fairy has been split up. Yes, we have 15 more fairies to get. Oh no! Oh yes, I'm afraid so. Arr. You did get a really good reward in this place, though. But that's way off in the future. Just keep this, you know, write it down. Write it down. Alright, so now we're gonna go over to that cave, because that's the last place we haven't gone to. Because we can't go inside that house. Well, I mean, I guess I could show you what'll happen if we try going in that house. Um, just not, let's try not to attract the Gibdo parade. She's like, oh, keep away from our house, my brother is not one of you! What does she mean by that? Eh, perhaps we'll see. Oh, and I didn't mean to jump off. Mm. <laughs> I didn't mean to jump off the edge. Oh, poopers. Okay, going back around. Don't. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm about to be humped. Oh, ho, ho. Okay. <laughs> that somehow worked out. It wasn't close enough for him to hump me. See, what they do is they screech and then it freezes you in place. And that's, yeah, kind of causes you ire. By the way, don't enter this place if you don't have more than like a heart's worth of health. You'll see why in a sec. Springwater Cave, entry prohibited due to ghost sightings. Man, everything is prohibited due to ghost sightings. But yet, we're just walking in places just because. So yeah, this, you know, this, this place doesn't look too, fr too friendly here. Uh, uh oh. Oh no. Oh. oh. I'm scared, mommy! What business have you in Akana Kingdom? Land where only the dead roam. No, there's not there isn't only dead here. There's that girl and father and never mind, never mind. Oh jeez, you look familiar. You look like a certain bro that I met at a certain grave. This is no place for one as full as life of as you. Or do you say that you wish to join the dead? That is fine. If that is the case, then sleep gently to the melody of darkness that the great composer Sharp shall play! And join the ranks of the dead. And then you're gonna event you're gonna see uh, I'm losing health as long as I'm in here. Now if you'd like you can try the song of healing. Oh wait, no no no. No wait wait, how'd it go? There we go, I haven't played it in a while. <laughs> I had to play it by ear there. So there we go, it's a song of healing, and he's gonna be like, Mmm, somehow I heard it's eased. This melody has a serenity to it, and yet... To honor the dead in darkness like myself, a song like that no longer holds meaning for me. You shall end your futile resistance and quickly join the ranks of the dead! So that wasn't the correct song. <laughs> a down up, a down up. And we are gonna play the song that I can sing to. And it's gonna be fun. Whoa, what is this? This song. <laughs> 
No, no, no. It can't be. This song. And unbelievably, a song that is different from the song of healing ends up being the healer. Yeah, this uh, song has a way of getting rid of curses, basically, and Sharp here has been cursed. It can also get rid of curses, like if you get cursed by the uh, blue bubbles. Uh, so you don't need a potion or anything like that, just play the Song of Storms, or just wait for your sword to uh, just uh, reactivate. And now, the water is flowing again! Look at that! And now, we get a melody. Oh, yes! That sounds a lot like that song from the basement of uh, Big Boo's Haunt. <laughs> you know, it's Super Mario 64. At, at the very least, it uses the same song set. You know, I should say the sound set. But anyway, with the power of the music, the Gibdos, they can't handle it. They can't handle it. And then they go poof. Well, not necessarily poof, but well, they go bye bye. <laughs> Come on, extra long cutscene. We know what's gonna happen. Just, just get it over with already. And yeah, they're kind of going poof. <laughs> it's, it's more like sinking in the ground poof. And there they go. You know, I'm really glad that I got that. Uh, Poe Sisters uh, <laughs> mini game out of the way because that would have been uh, sucky to have to keep burning rupees. <gasps> Ooh, the door is unlocked! Yes! But the cutscene isn't over yet! Flat, my dear brother. Forgive your foolish brother who jumped at the revival of the royal family. <sighs> Ye who do not fear the dead. With my brother's song, you have broken the curse that was placed upon me. It is all thanks to you. Thank you, Mario. We have to do something special for you. Bow chicka wow wow. Never mind. <laughs> we dead should not be lingering here in this land. It was all a trick of the masked one who had upset things. Masked one? You don't mean the skull kid. If you truly do not fear the dead, I wish for you to go to the temple of this in this land and sever the root of the evil curse that torments us. To do that. I, the only one who knows the way into the temple, shall direct you to the king. The king is in the ruins of Akana Castle, waiting the coming of the one who will break the curse. I have made my final request. Good for you. <laughs> Alright, that was that was way, way too long for my liking. Okay, maybe not. That was fine. It was fine. I'm just worried about freezes. I get paranoid when something... Makes me play for longer than is... yeah. <laughs> so, now an easy way into this house is just to take your stone mask, put it on, and then she'll pop out of the house eventually. Now, as that... Um, oh, there she is right now, but... Yeah, uh, she, she's kind of kind of looking around there. I don't know if she'll notice us if I go within the water here. Oh, no, she won't. Interesting, okay. Just wanted to see here. But, yeah, um... She's kind of looking around there. We can sneak in the house, but otherwise we'd normally have to wait until she walks away. And then we could go sneak in the house, like we gotta watch her from a distance. But now that we're inside here, uh, we got some you know, decor to look at, I suppose. We can take a peek, see, we can't really check anything per se, but... Why did I drop my ocarina? I need my ocarina! I know I need my ocarina! I need it for the Song of Healing! So the speaker's going on in here, and there's also a... Uh, um, why would you have pictures of Gibdos in the house that, and... Uh, oh, 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 I see why! <laughs> and let's just uh, check here. The snowy looks different. So I'd like it's here waiting for its human heart to be healed. Well, do something! Haven't you figured it out yet? If you attack it, um, that, that girl will come in here and say, Don't attack my daddy! So, instead we actually gotta use the Song of Healing this time, and not the Song of Storms, even though this does seem to be a type of curse of sorts. And he's like, oh! Oh, 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 what was I doing? That I feel better. <laughs> Father! Father! Pamela. And all is well now. You know, until you reset time. 
What have I been doing this whole time? Oh, you haven't, you haven't been doing anything. You had a bad dream. You're just having a little nightmare. Was it? Pamela. And look at this. Through the power of healing, we took a mask from him. It's the Gibdo mask, which is essential for game completion. Not even just 100%. I mean, game completion. This mask is the hideous, the hideous face of Pamela's father. <laughs> This mask is so real that even a Gibdo would, would mistake you as one of its own. Yeah, we sure been able to trick a lot of people with our masks, haven't we? Eh, let's just take a- oh! Let them be! Don't you get it? Okay, okay, okay! You're so insensitive! Okay, Tattle, okay. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna take a look-see around here. Ha ha ha! I'm climbing on your stuff during your sad- I mean, uh, during your happy moment from the brinks of sadness. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Hey, wait a second. Wait a second. I was, oh, I was gonna say, I, I thought this wheel wasn't turning, but it is indeed turning. It's just that, it's just that it's like there's a treadmill attached to it and the wheel it, itself isn't turning. Interesting. Interesting. And there's also a wrench on the floor of some sort. But anyway, we are done here, at least for this part, because we've got what we need to begin the Econa well in the next part, sort of, because we still gotta get some giblets before even going in there for the sake of convenience, because it's a really, uh, it's a really stupid setup that the well has, but you know, there's a lot of stupid setups in this game, so <laughs> what else is new? <laughs> So with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.